How much do you need in order to be happy? This is a really good question and the Best of Fortune magazine this week from Trey Williams talks about how the definition of success is changing amongst Generation Z and the Millennials. And they really are questioning whether they want to be like us, the people who went before them, the older adults in society who have made work our primary driver of getting up in the morning, where we spend more hours than we do with our families. This generation has decided they want less and they want to be more happy. And so they are striving to be happy. And there is this soft life. This is the definition of what they're talking about, the soft life versus the struggle of grind. How is this playing out for you? Because I think not just Gen Zs and Millennials are actually asking this question. The global pandemic has actually ushered in this big fundamental reevaluation of what is important to us. So how much do you need in order to be happy? The soft line versus the struggle of the grind. Older people are starting to question whether they need to be grinding it out and if they need quite so much. And so I often say I am grateful to our younger generation for waking us up to the fact that perhaps life can be a different way. I don't believe that there is any such thing as perfect balance, but we need to strive for some kind of dynamic balance and whatever is balanced to you may not be balanced to me because we all value different things. So if you are managing a team right now, I highly suggest that you dig deep and get to know your team members and find out what is important for every single member of your team, all of those direct reports. It's going to be something different. And if you don't know what is important for each team member, how can you motivate them? This is a critical question when it comes to high touch leadership, which is something that I do with a number of top executives in corporate South Africa. And then we filter that down to their senior leadership teams. If you don't know what is important to each one of your direct reports, you are going to be unable to customize your leadership to the individual.